Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you a tutorial in how to put all the components inside a PC except the processor, the motherboard and the PSU. So I'll show you how to do all the connections on the motherboard, how to connect power to the motherboard for the processor, how to connect power to the graphics card and also how to put in hard drive optical disk drive and the RAM. The very first step is to put in the optical disk drive. So, here you can see I've removed one protection so I've uh, opened the very first bay for optical disk drives on my PC. Here you can see that this case have a nice tool-less design so you don't need to use the screwdriver just take the disk drive and slide in slide it in all the way okay now lock it with this thing. I don't know which kind of case you're using. You may require to use screws or a different tool last design. Anyway, this is for my PC. Um, okay, so next let's mount the hard disk drive. So choose a bay that is more convenient for you and slide the drive all the way in letting the SATA connectors exposed to attach power and data and the same had uh, the same had to be done with the optical disk drive if you don't do so obviously you can't connect the data and power cables so now the hard drive is locked and so let's connect it to the motherboard. You will need a SATA cable. Uh, as you can see this motherboard has two dedicated red ports for hard drives. So it's, it's very easy. Just take a SATA cable put it inside the port and then connect it to the SATA connector on the hard disk drive and you're done. The hard drive is now connected. Uh, then the hard drive also requires power. Have a look at your PSU. You should have something like this. Okay, this connector is a SATA power connector. You normally have more than one for hard drive base. Choose one and connect it. They're all the same, just choose the one that is more convenient for length and position inside your casing. Then snap it into the hard drive and also this step is done. Now the hard drive also have power and will run. Now we have to do the same for the optical disk drive as you can see there are two connectors that's for the data and the bigger one is for power. So now it's more convenient to connect power first so I connect power first to this you have another SATA power connector as the one that I used for the hard disk drive, snap also this one in all the way and then you will need another SATA cable as you can see this is labeled for the optical disk drive this motherboard also have two dedicated ports for the optical disk drives connect in your SATA cable and make it pass where it's more convenient for you and then you will 
need to connect it to your optical disk drive. This is a little bit hard sometimes. But all will go okay if you do this well. Okay, and also this cable is connected. Uh, well, so next, let's connect power to the motherboard. Have a look at this. This is the ATX power cable. As you can see, there are two connectors, one is very big, one is only 4 pins, so 20 pins plus 4 pins make 24 pins, that is the standard ATX 2.0 um, power connector. Some motherboards still use only 20 pins, that is why this is separated. So have a look at your connector, if you have 20 pin only use this without the 4 pin connector. If you have 24, it's much more convenient to use all 24 pins. So uh, you can see here how to go together. There are those arrows that indicate the right place for the connector. And then put it right in into the motherboard. You can't get wrong because this has uh, those kind of how to say that each pin has a particular form that goes in only in one way so you can't get wrong put it in uh, if you can't get it all in one first connect the 4 pin connector and then the 20 pin one this is why I hate to do it with one hand, but I think I'll manage to do also this step. Okay, and the main power cord is in. Well, okay, now what's next? Have a look at your PSU. You should also have something like this. Those are two four pin connectors. Hmm. Okay, in many cases you'll have only one of them. Now have a look at your motherboard. You'll see something like this. Also in this case a lot of motherboards only have four pins, not eight. What's this? Well, this is processors power connector. Today's processors consume a lot of energy and they require a dedicated power connection. And this is it. Dedicated power connection. Also this one goes in only in one way. You will see that there are those clips that uh, will connect on the top of this connector on the opposite clip. So, put them a link and snap into the uh, motherboard's connector. Remember that without that connector your CPU won't have enough power to run and your PC won't turn on. Uh, also, this is very hard to do with one hand. I'm sorry, this is taking so much time, but it's really, really difficult to do with only one hand. 